WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and of course, we begin our day with a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. You got the Dow trading down about 12 points, basically flat. The S&P is up three points, basically flat. NASDAQ 100 up a quarter percent, 57 points. Uh, a little over one-tenth of a percent for the Russell, or three points. Semis are up nine, so those are really flat out there. Trainers are up 15, down one-tenth of a percent. Uh, you've got gold that is up three, or off three dollars. Silver's up 32 cents. A mixed bag, totally mixed bag out there. Lights recruit off 16 pennies. It was up for earlier this morning. Natural gas is off a nickel. Trade out at 242. 30 year Treasury up a half a point. Print out at 116.19. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini upper left hand side. What do we know about it? Well, it's got two different tops out there a TD9 count and a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. But those tops have just simply been nothing more than a test of support. The test of support, the easy test of support, is one on this black background chart, which is at the 5512 level. If price were to close below 5512, I should have had this up. Then we'd be looking at a move down to the 5493 area. Resistance is really the high of the candle session from three days ago. That was June 28th. That's the 5585 level. If price were to close above that, it would negate its roads momentum indicator top. Spot volatility still says the S&P 500 has the wind at its back out there. Why? Because price is below the 50-day exponential moving average. The NQ is back inside its narrow range profile. The real level of support for the uh, Russ, uh, for the uh, NQ is at 19.802 out here. Uh, where is resistance? Well, you could say one of the resistance level would be at the 21.43 mark. Uh, if price were to get above that, then we'd be looking at. So we'll say it's between that. And this number that I'm going to give you, which is 2158, that happens to be the daily green oscillator and change line. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it's attempting to form a new weekly profile. If that profile does form, that tells us about a consolidation with inside the U.S. dollar index, perhaps for some time to come. If we take a look at Goldilocks, shoot, that's been consolidating since April. It does have support at the bottom of consolidation, but it's trading with inside its profile right now. That's between the range of 2320 at the bottom and 2359 at the top. If we take a look at silver, silver is trading above the top of its profile. We see a series of higher lows out there. So it does look to me like silver wants to continue to rally. We take a look at the uh, light speed crude. It's traded, it closed yesterday into a prior swing point, uh, 83.27. If we get another close above 83.27 today, we likely head to 85.27. You need a bullish reversal candle to stop the bleeding inside of natural gas out there. Otherwise, it'll continue to move lower. And the 30-year Treasury did find support at where those counter trend rallies would typically end. Stay tuned, folks, for the Trader's Edge. We'll see you in just a few.